Hey everybody, it's Tony the Blacksmithing Gamer. We are playing Cthulhu Saves Christmas. This is part two in the series. And we're back. Had a brief interruption of life. Um, we're probably going to enter a battle with the Sarlacc Pit, it looks like. <laughs> That was uh, AOE. Oh, he went first, that's why. It's uh, the last one. There we go. You did. It's a dead end. Okay. I go back. That's the other way. Left? Yeah. Left we go. Oh. Battle. Tentacles. Eat it. Wait. Um, there we go. Done. Ice damage. Eat it. Oh, he's powerful. Guided by the hand. Yeah. Oh, our kitten. Oh, I'm sorry. Must pick up the meow. Uh, did she just hit him with a present? She, yeah, she threw. That's um, a pre, uh, a meow. Power of hers. I can't remember what it's called now. Present in the face. Gobbled up. What's this? Not a not an entrance. Bones. Sarlacc pit. Oh, have we seen the one on the right yet? chest. Shield breaker. Is I can either click one? Uh, breaker, have shield. 
about the enemy. <laughs> that might have been what it said. Memory serves, the bone guy is really strong. Yes. Stronger than the Sarlacc pit. Let's kill the Sarlacc pit off then. Chest. Gotta go for it. Well, of course, why wouldn't we? You got an occult sword. This weapon's for Cthulhu and gives him Necronomicon buff at the start of battle. Uh, well, that we clearly need to I think we have a that. few things that we can equip. That's the one? Yeah. Like, not necessarily for Cthulhu. But this one this seems better. No, it's 30 versus yeah, 50. Yeah. That was clean one. Oh, but it doesn't give us any extra. HP? Well, no. It, yeah, it doesn't give us any extra HP. It gives us Frequently worse. used to clean toilets. Is that what happened there? No. 
She just attacked after. That's all. to the next level. Next battle we shall level up. This is where we came from. Yeah. Dead end. We must go up. Wow, so many Sarlacc pants. Yeah, the two right there. Not going to even get a damage in. Seek. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. No new abilities. Level 20 We're seems almost, like... Almost at level 21. Level 20 seems like what? It's... It should be something that you get of new abilities. Uh, it's one of those... Dead end... Oh, we can just explore freely. Can I go this way? No. We'll just go around this way. Broken Pestle. Let's equip it. Let's check it out first. Nope, just equip it. Speed's higher, ailment's higher, but power and healing go down. And then we also lose a lot of the other awesome things. Ooh. You can't go in there! Doesn't mean I can't try. I mean, I guess you can, but you're not going to no purpose to it. No. I wish there was. It's the one thing I'm, I'm not liking about the game. The little really? doodads. Well, I like the game, don't get me wrong. That's just... I'm spoiled with Chrono Trigger, clearly. You have a death robe. This armor for Crystal gives her the unstoppable buff. Uh, yeah. Crystal can have a death robe. It seems very... Christmassy. Yeah. Don't die. A gruesome death is what it says. That's where I came from. Go out. Ooh, looks like a boss if I ever saw one. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, I was gonna say save. It's that. Uh, the locked up reindeer are over there. That's my line. Sorry. Give me, give me a chance. Go ahead. Along with Marty Lou. Lou it did. How do you like my handiwork, granddaughter of the Jolly One? How could you? How could I? How could I? Year after year, the Jolly One ignored me in favor of flying reindeer. <laughs> I can fly. I could pull the sled. I could appear in Christmas festive songs written about me! Yeah, that's it. Actually, you do have songs written about you. None that would have gone platinum. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to interrupt this wine fest, but I'm on a tight schedule here. It's time for you to disappear. I would have thought a fellow undead would understand. Oh, I'm not undead. Really? I was positive. Probably thinking of Breath of Dead 7. Right, right, right. It's a common mistake. The undead heroes are in the other game. No joking. In my other game, and the undead game are usually bundled together, so it's an easy mistake to make. My apologies. Think nothing of it. Now, it's time for you to die. Well, die again. I'll make sure it takes... This time. It takes this time. I'm like, that doesn't make sense. Let's just do single or unites. Yeah. Start off with some unites. Sure.
chicken damage. Enemies defeated. 15,000 XP. 15. Yeah, 15,000. <laughs> Bootleg. Gentle rain. Clockwork. Tag. This. This cannot be. How could I have been defeated so easily? It happens to the best of us villains. It's nothing to be ashamed about. It will take years for this land to regain its former beauty, but you can begin to atone by telling us where Santa is. I know not the other four, I mean three members of the Christmas League of Evil. They keep changing that. <laughs> keep his location a tight secret. Grandfather, I will rescue you no matter what the cost. Where can we find the next League member? Answer me. Don't worry about that. It'll find you. <laughs> and with that, the Marty Lowe lid vanishes. Wait. That was ominous. What's next, boss? We 
should turn back to town and prepare for fights ahead. Quickly, before the locked up ranger notice us and make us rescue them. Ahem. Fine, you can let them go free. I can't believe your dark lord, who is me, is so malevolent. It's now Christmas Eve, the 22nd. I haven't been able to find anything about the remaining League of Christmas Evil members. You worry too much. Take it easy. The Mari Lud said it would come to us. Relax. Relax? How can I possibly relax? Every day that we go rescue Santa is another day that Christmas doesn't come. Is it really so bad for it to be perpetually Christmas Eve? All the anticipation of presents without the crushing disappointment. <laughs> I'm with you, boss. I never get what I want for Christmas. That's because you two are on the naughty list. Your experience is indicative of everyone else. Is it indicative? You're telling me that Cluck 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 doesn't deserve any presents? That can't be right. just to get some presents for Cluck Cluck. Hey you three, has this town always sounded this gloomy? Now that you mention it, the carolers do sound less lively than normal. Could it be a portent? Can carolers sense impending doom? Is that a power they have? Yes, carolers can sense impending doom, just like cows can tell the weather. Or maybe it's not that carolers can sense doom so much as they're part of it. <laughs> ah, that theory is so ridiculous, it must be true. This is now Christmas Eve the 23rd. Okay. No, you play, oh, right? I'm playing? Over at the... Seven? Yeah. So we... Do we have any new ones? For school? Ice cream? Yeah, uh, Crystal, Baba, this one. Oh, Keep going. Post office one is a sound. Caroling! We didn't do caroling yet. Or right. park or graveyard. Alright, caroling it is. Everybody, I've decreed that we shall go caroling! Kasulu, you manage to su surprise me every day. Why, I do believe you're starting to pick up on the Christmas spirit. I love to sing, boss. This will be fun. I remember my first night of caroling. Ugo had caught a saber tooth for the tribe, so everyone was especially in good spirits. We sang and sang and sang all night. It didn't even matter that the fire hadn't been invented yet. Everyone was warmed by the singing. I've taken the liberty of preparing materials for everyone. Here's your requisite Elizabethan attire. This dress is so fluffy, it doesn't even have any chicken feathers in it, right? And here's everyone's hymn books. I've taken a great care in selecting Christmas carols that will suit each individual's vocal range. These songs I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with this language. I can't make sense of any of this. That's because they're written in the ancient Rilian script. Don't worry, it's a phonetic language. You'll have it mastered in no time. I'm not sure about this. No, let's give it a try. Cthulhu has been so gracious in accepting the caroling tradition that the least we can do is meet him that way. I don't think that's going to go over well. Under Cthulhu's tutelage, the group practices the first few songs in the hymn until they feel confident that they can repeat them. My tongue feels funny. I have the stranging, strangest craving for sludge. Are you sure we're singing these correctly? You're doing marvelously. Now go home and practice tonight and tomorrow. In two days, we'll be ready for action. He's making them insane. Everyone heads to their respective homes. Mwahaha, everything is going according to plan. Cthulhu decides to order a baton to help him better conduct music. When it arrives, it turns out 
actually to be a weapon. Cthulhu got a present wand. This weapon is for crystal, boosts the effectiveness of using items. That we don't use. Now today. Christmas Eve, the 24th. Should do graveyard. Seems like the only place we got left. Did we do the park? Eeny meeny. Doesn't matter. We got both days. I don't know. Which way do we do? Which day do we do first? We do park. Let's do graveyard. Okay. Why did you even ask? Cthulhu decides to spend his day at the Christmas Land graveyard. This sounds like he'd be the bestest place to go. Many of the tombstones have holly wreath placed in front of them. Candy canes are also a frequent occurrence. There's a chicken. Cthulhu decides to read a few of the messages on the gravestones. Melinda Greenland, first victim of the Great Winter Uprising of tw uh, 2010, trampled to death by a horde of cyber elves. The Golubith Asnaman, beloved son, father, uncle, nephew, cousin, step cousin, boyfriend, pen pal, chiropractor, and radiologist. Oh, Alf win oars. In the end, he did not win. In the end, the end was him. Okay. <laughs> Teresa Tess, if we could have one more moment with you, we would ask you what the Wi Fi password was. <laughs> Sandler Leach. Remember to put the funny message on here before the game ships. <laughs> Haroki Smith. A lesson to us all. That lesson being never to spook a reindeer while standing within kicking distance. <laughs> Cthulhu tires of reading the gravestone messages. Cthulhu sees a woman in a purple dress kneeling in front of a large tombstone. Approach the woman. Cthulhu approaches the woman, but when she sees him, she runs off. Maybe you'll return to the graveyard another day. You'll be able to talk to her. <laughs> Next to one of the gravestones, Cthulhu sees a chicken laying an egg. Badly. Badly. Cthulhu got a rotten egg. This accessory for Baba bo boosts her poison damage. Oh. It's Christmas Eve. The 25th. Hey, the last place, right? Okay. Seems fitting. Cthulhu decides to spend the day at the park. He sees an old man feeding the birds. The old man gestures to Cthulhu. I sense an old soul in you. Would you like to join me? I have some bird seed left. The great Cthulhu feeds no birds. If anything, the birds feed Cthulhu. <laughs> My name is Decker. I was once a clerk at the local temple, but I've been retired for many years now. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve, though. I didn't ask you for your life story, old man. And yet, I've given it to you. I feel like a connection between us, however faint it may be. Tell me, what brings you to Christmas, man? Cthulhu explains to the old man how he lost his powers and is seeking to regain them by rescuing Santa Claus. Ho oh, oh, ho, Santa Claus himself. You know, some people haven't even told me that I resemble the man himself. I don't see it. And once you regain your powers, what do you intend to do? Destroy the world, enslave humanity, the usual. For all our sakes, I hope you never succeed then. You're an Christmas. interesting individual, Cthulhu. If you ever want to talk, I spend most of my days here. Here, take this and enjoy. Cthulhu got a more odd candy. This accessory is for Dolph Nickel. Boosts his speed and ailment power. And it's now Christmas Eve of the 26th. What do we do? We can go back to the graveyard and see that woman, maybe. Do we have any follow-up things that we had to show up other than uh, no, I think feeding the hungry? I think it was just feeding the hungry people, but I wouldn't mind checking in on our people and then going to see the old man again. What do you mean? Like, we can check in on, like, Crystal and Baba and Rose Nickel. What is the 26th? What? What is the 26th? And... Wow. 
wait, do we have any new things that we can get? Shield no. Pestle? Fabergé Egg. Oh, I see. We practice. We practice, so now we can maybe get that Fabergé Egg. And candy shop. Assembly. Movies. Sharp tentacle. Hold on, go down one. Sharp tentacle. Want to get movies? Doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. Movies it is. Cthulhu decides to go back to the movie theater. Hi. I knew you'd be back. Nothing good was on TV. Well, we're in for a treat today. It's a romantic comedy about an ornament designer and a young mall Santa who travels through time. It sounds like a Hallmark movie if I ever saw one. Seen it. No, you're thinking of the original. The remake just came out today. Let's get this over with. Cthulhu and Crystal watch the movie. That ah. was not awful. What are you talking about? It was amazing! I love the scene where they had to hide in the closet from their future selves, and it turns out that he bought Miss Brought Mistletoe. Oh, that's adorable. Or how about the scene where the kid from the future starts a chain reaction that wins them the hu the lug Luge. Luge race? Lug. <laughs> oh, I thought the original was better. Get with the times, you old phoby. <laughs> the original wasn't even in color. Perhaps, but you have to admit that the tap dancing was very impressive for individuals with only two legs. Have you seen tap dancing with more legs? I don't want to know. You don't want to know what I've seen. So many legs. So many shoes. <laughs> I'll stick with my movies, thanks. As Cthulhu leaves the area, he steps on something painful. Cthulhu got a sharp tentacle. This accessory for Cthulhu boosts his stats and taunts enemies. Wait a minute. It's the, the 27th. Except the sound of silence. The sound of silence. Cthulhu, it's horrible. Everybody's gone. It's like, it's a snowman's land out here. There. Not everybody. I'm still here. I mean, the NPCs, the town folk, they're all gone. Yes, that'll, that's it for relationship building. And I was having so much fun having pointless conversations with losers. <laughs> no, there are plenty of pointless conversations yet in store for you. Ah. It doesn't feel like this is the end game. This must be only a temporary setback. The city feels so empty without the sound of carolers singing. We could make our own carols! I really think we should stick to the time-tested classics. I'll start. Chickens love Christmas. Chickens, they do. Bop, 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 chicken. Or Christmas. <laughs> bop, 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 peasants. Um, <laughs> I'll go next. Toss out the candy, look for the kids, when they grab the candy, you hit their shins! Please stop. My turn. Cthulhu, Cthulhu. We all love Cthulhu. He sleeps in relay, and when he wakes, our flesh will burn, and we'll learn to the joy of Christmas Day! What on earth did I... did that have to do with Christmas? Joy of Christmas Day! Flesh burning! Cthulhu! How can I make this any clearer? I thought it was a neat song, boss. At least someone here appreciates quality music. Yar! I don't think anyone's coming to attack us today, so let's turn in early. Sweet pea time! <laughs> Christmas Eve, the 28th. Cthulhu wakes up feeling cold, even for him, and Cthulhu feel, always feels cold. I feel cold, even for me, I always feel cold. That's what I just said. Don't steal my lines! The city streets are frozen over, and the whole place reeks of death. Oh, that's, that's great. The Fifth League of Christmas Evil members must be out there somewhere waiting for us. But who could it be? Allow me to explain. Ah, Cluck Cluck, you're talking. 
In this dimension, chickens talk. A happy coincidence in an otherwise miserable world. This dimension? You have been brought to a pocket dimension that mirrors the world you know, but is emptier, darker, and eviler. <laughs> and yes, a little chickenier. The people you know and love remain safe, but only if you are able to prevent this dimension from spilling into reality. How do we do that, Clap Clap? You must defeat the ruler of this world, Bell, before it grows too powerful for this dimension to contain. Bell must be the fourth member of the League of Christmas Evil. Bell is the world ender. He will ring the note that will shatter existence if given the opportunity. Beware the carolers and their song. Each accursed note that they chant grants Bell more and more strength. If Bell becomes too powerful, the world will be destroyed, and there's nothing anyone will be able to do to stop it. Not on my watch. Nobody destroys the world except me. Let's do this. Thanks for your help. Clack, clack. I live to serve, little miss. I love it. So Cthulhu has to save the world in order to end it. You can't interact with anything. I can try. I love you, but please, there's nothing you can do. Oh, they all survived. you just do. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know, I'm just battling. No big deal. Clearly. Oh my. Ooh. Why did you choose that? That's a wisp. Wiggity wiggity wisp. Fire Squirrel. Mm -hmm. I think you should be playing this actually. Why? This is the seventh. Hey! Twenty seventh. Stealing my game, man. Yeah, striped tentacle. Save it. Hold well. on a second. So 50, 50, 30, 70. Mm. Jagged every edges everywhere. I think I like the 50, 50, 30, 70 better. Yeah, let's do that one. What? Then leave it on that one. The 50, 50, 30, 70? Yep. Eggy dress seems uh, better. Yeah. Oh wait, she got an egg too. We had a rotten egg. Oh yeah. 
idea. Why are you keeping the rotten egg? Why are you keeping this? Oh, poison damage is plus 20. Okay, let's check first thing. We've already, we've already upgraded his whip. 60 versus 50. Yep. Ratty is better, I, I, I vaguely remember. Um, this is new. Old candy or odd candy? Oh, odd candy is clearly better for speed and ailment. Safe. Uh, next one down there. Alright. Pardon my squeaky chair. Hold on, this has to say something again. Oh. Dead end. A cat. Oh! It's a cat question mark? 600 HP. Fire, ice, and whatever the heart is. Fire, ice, heart. It seemed underwhelming. Hold on, I should do this for a second. So we have. Check out all the abilities. Another heal. I mean, I guess so. Okay, I'll take off stun. Freeze. Or... Oh, that replace that heal the the regen with the gentle rain. Okay. I feel like that's better. So I'll do freeze, and then I'll do gentle rain. Now that we just buffed it. Huh? We just buffed the poison chicken egg thing. Poison chicken egg. I think hers are okay. Yeah. Let's see. Is there anything? Break. Twilight travel. Oh. Eh. Okay, and then what about this one? So, we like this one. That's a heal and a taunt. Let's protect. Yeah. I really think we'll use this one. What is our rust does he have? Nice. Naughty strike. Enrage blow. Naughty strike. I like this one. Yeah, let's do that one then. Then there's tag. Naughty strike. Okay. And All right. This one is the all. Yeah. Okay. Save. Just a second for you. Alternate dimension. Got a cursed wand. <laughs> this weapon for her soul gets hard. Yes, then we shall change her. Let's see, so 20, 90, 70, 90, 70. Yep. Why not? What's wrong? It's 20, 90, 70, 90, 70, and this one is 0, yeah, 140, right. 35, 35. Cancel. There's no other way? No, you go back to side. I love this song, though. The creepy Cthulhu song. No, it's Carol and the Bells. Yeah, no, but like, Cthulhu version. Sure. Battle. 
the squirrel and something else. We may never know. She didn't have any all in one phone. Oh my goodness. Don't use the joystick. I don't think, yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think she had any alls. Let's shoot ice damage on the soul sucker. There we go. <laughs> nice. I was, like, I was like, it seems like it's a waste. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, chest. I like chests. Candy we got whip. a candy whip for Bell Snickle. Allows him to rest and reuse the candy ability. Well, I don't know if we use the candy ability. Is it a better whip, though? chicken, mind you. Yeah, now she's talking. I think this is just where we were. I was gonna say, I think this is the same zone. No, it's a different zone. Oh, uh, okay, I see. In circles. Yeah. Now you gotta face squirrels, bulls, and kittens. I killed the kitten. No, you killed the wisp. Kitten's still there. Oh. Might as well kill out the kid. I think it's probably weak. Oh, oh so close. I'll kill it now. Yeah. Power up! This top guy is uh, weak. You could also do Unites. Yeah, I was gonna say just kill it. He has like six HP. 
Should have kept him alive. No, I'm just kidding. Squirrel. Are how detailed they can actually make it, just make it work. I'm wondering if they like start by drawing regular and then pixelize it. I don't know. I imagine that's what they do. Oh, well, he's insane now. That's not good. We don't want insane fire squirrels. <laughs> but I killed him the next round. Makes me want to go back and play the other Cthulhu games though too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious about them now. It's only six battles left, and you can walk around the whole place frequently. Kittens. Kittens will die, especially the pink versions. And purple. Pink, purple, very similar. They're very strong. Oh my, they're like, uh... Sarlax! No, 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 Sarlax is the pit. Uh, oh. the, you're thinking of the one. Flurkin! Flurkin, yeah. Flurkin. From... <laughs> Hyper More Bar. wishes! Cure. That's good. Earth damage. Experiencing that drift, but that's on the Joy Cons, not the Pro Controller. We're using the Pro Controller for the Switch right now. Um, and I think the drift only occurs on the Joy Cons, from my understanding. Ever heard about this? Supposedly, some Switches have, uh, like, the joystick. It, it makes you go always right or left, I think. It's like the joystick's broken, basically. Oh. Oh, 
poisoned. Tejack. Drink all of this poison quickly. You got rainbow a rainbow coat. coat. Bell Snickle. Full of bubbles. Bubbles. Bubbles on a village tree. Bubbles. Oh, that's a boss. Do you want to take your four battles before you bat yeah. the, the boss? Just because I can. Oh, easy peasy. Well, that's what you say. Yeah. Easy peasy. Figure eights, figure eights, figure eights. We're dancing. Oh my goodness, all the fire squirrels. Squirrels. <laughs> They're like, oh, the last one was too easy for you? Let me, allow me to give you this. There are lots of fire squirrels. Disarm the, the disarmed squirrel. I didn't really have much else for her. Yeah, I was gonna say. Options are limited. Okay, two more battles. <laughs> We're having a good old time. defeated. One more battle. And then you can move on to the beautiful little boss up there. It looks fine. Flying doom demon like things. Oh yeah. 
value of attack. Ooh, with a level. That was extra. It was like 20k. Save up. Just a giant Christmas tree bell? A little on the nose, don't you think? There's two of them. Oh, sorry. sorry. There's two of them. This is bad. Bell has already begun to multiply to fill all the space. I am Bell. Before the deep ones, I was. Before the great old ones, I was. I am eternal. When my note rings out, nations fall, dimensions shatter, existence breaks. Don't let it appear, its appearance fool you, it's just trying to stall for time whilst its power increases. Fa la 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 la, fa la la, why, do, why does this sound very familiar? I just got a crazy, insane deja vu. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Smash, smash the bell, silence the bell. Oh no, the bell. Here comes the bell. Wow. Well, wait, save your AoEs, because it might multiply. I might regret saying this. But go on. If I'd make the bell insane, if that's a good thing, I wouldn't defend you. Down, your defense down goes down with that one. Now 
does less damage. Yeah, physical damage it up. Christmas evil know where he is kept. You have bested me, sleeper of vile. You fought well. Perhaps you are the chosen one after all. Always bet on Kazu. Bell fades away. You did, you did it. it, Baba Yaga. You really did it. Yippee! She's so cute. With Bell defeated, this dimension will not last much longer, and when it is gone, you will return to your own dimension. But what about you, Cluck Cluck? What will happen to you? I will once again lose the power to speak, and just become a regular chicken. Don't say that! You're no ordinary chicken! You are my best friend! You are too kind, little miss. I have so many questions I wanted to ask you. What's your favorite color? What's your favorite number? What's your favorite food? I like yellow, the number 10, and then Mouse King was delicious. <laughs> See? These are things I didn't know. If only we had more time. We have all the time in the world. I will remain forever on your head, Little Miss. Forever. <laughs> cluck, cluck. Ah. Baka! No! <laughs> <laughs> Baba, Baba Yaga, Yaga calls cries for, for several minutes. Cluck cluck coos for worms. Looks for worms. Or, look, yeah. Are you going to be okay? Yes, I have to be strong. For cluck cluck's sake. It's now Christmas Eve, the 29th. A powerful blizzard pummels the town, preventing anyone from going outside. A roaring fire, a cup of hot chocolate, a book of ancient curses. This is perfect! What could go wrong? That's my idea of a good time on a, fri <laughs> on a Friday night. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Seriously? You're not going to do that? Which switcheroo thing you do? Hey, I'm snowed in too. Take a day off. You deserve it. I do deserve it. The day passes uneventfully. The blizzard subsides tomorrow and will be an ordinary day. He's got two beds in his room, but he sleeps in the smaller one. <laughs> it's now Christmas Eve the 30th. I say we see what the deal with the graveyard lady is, but that's just me. Cthulhu returns to the graveyard. There are still some gravestone messages that he has not yet read. Cthulhu begins to read. Pythagoras, a real hack, and a two, two total bore at parties. Eileen Debois lived the way that she died, died the way that she lived. Does that make sense? Denver, Dakota, always wanted to travel to his namesakes. The author. Nobody cares what you think. <laughs> Cthulhu tries reading the gravestone message. You're Cth you could read say that. You're Cthulhu, right? I'm October. The woman from before. Today's your lucky day, for it 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 blah, blah, blah. for it is indeed I, the mighty Cthulhu. But please, no autographs or flash photography. Of course not, but I'm intrigued by your boldness. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Can you teach me how to raise the dead? Now that's an interesting request indeed. Well, 
I've always said that the world could use a few more zombies. I'd love to. Wait, zombies? No, I meant like full restoration from the dead to life. That's not possible with the Eldritch Arts. It's zombies or nothing. Well, I suppose I can learn about zombie summoning and I... I'm supposed to be a necromancer after all. Cthulhu spent several minutes discussing the proper summoning techniques, feeding, and general care for zombies. Thank you for your help. Maybe I'll have a chance to repay you sometime. Payment is nice, but just the thought that there might be more zombies around is a reward enough. I love those creepy guys. <sighs> we'll meet again. Farewell. Oh, and head back to the graveyard before you go home. You'll find something useful there. Zombies? Cthulhu heads back to the graveyard. Hidden behind one of the grave markers is a treasure chest. Cthulhu got a swamp dress. This armor for Baba boosts her poison damage. Good old it. swamp dresses. It's now Christmas Eve the 31st. Alright. I want to go talk to the guy in the park. Cthulhu decides to go back to the park. Dakar is there once again. This time, feeding the squirrels. Ah, Cthulhu, you came back. Come, sit, chat. I'll stay standing. Suit yourself. I might not look it, but I've been in my share of scraps and scuffles. You? That was quite an adventure in my day. I remember one particularly dark night where I had to defend a relic of the church from a horde of cultists. My companions were all wounded and bleeding and I was the last one standing. A blast of light and a heal spell later, they were all back in the fight. That's why to this day the statue of Akbakuyam remains safely restored in the vaults of the church. That was your doing? I really wanted that statue. Did you? Is it this much better? Spending a quiet moment in a park with good company, listening to the stories of the past. I'd rather have the statue. Would have looked great on my nightstand and rail. Cthulhu, Cthulhu, Cthulhu. I know it's hard to see now, but all of this will work towards your benefit. Your redemption. Pass. In the end, you may not have a choice in the matter. Evil falls and good prevails. And when good needs you, I know you'll step up. I'll show you. This is my game. If I say evil prevails, that's what's going to happen. We'll see. Take this. No point in you losing before you have a chance. Change of heart. Cthulhu got a patchwork coat from his, for his armor, for a bell snack boots, and his damage at uh, when his damage at max HP. Oh. Christmas Eve, the 32nd. Okay, what okay. do we get? We got a Mystic Club. You choose. Brown egg, sweet candy, growing tentacle, ball, swift dress, manga. Oh, oh, Smithy Coke. Coat. Fabergé egg. Hyper wand. Cat tunic. Shadow whip. I want Fabergé egg. The night has arrived for Cthulhu and the others to go caroling. This is my little singing troop. Did everyone practice like I told them? Every yeah. night, boss. Sadly, yes, I know it's just words, but I feel so dirty saying them. Like, each word is a swear. I'm not so sure about this. We'd better just stick with the regular songs. Really? After I've tried to embrace your customs, you're going to insult my native tongue so? Maybe we shouldn't even go caroling. No, no, it's fine. We'll, uh, do it your way. That's better. Let's head to the first house. Cthulhu knocks on the door of the house, and Herod's there and looks surprised to see him, but don't immediately slam the door, screaming in terror. Christmas greetings, fellow mortals. 
would like to serenade you with a selection of Christmas hymns from the underwater civilian. Right. Everyone, like we practiced. One, two, three, go. I'm not singing this. Lots of things that look like someone just, like, smashed on a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Santa, 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 look, look, black. Clap. The ice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyways, fun. The listeners stare stunned silence for a long moment, then open their mouths. <sighs> They're singing too. Cthulhu, has all just hey, been a recruitment me. drive for new followers to, for your cult? This is me. Go ahead. Maybe. You have to turn them back now. Why, they're happier now. The man who opened the door somehow drooling from both of his mouth and his eyeballs. Turn them back now. Fine, you're no fun. There, are you happy? Not until we get you to sing some actual Christmas carols. Crystal drags Cthulhu from door to door singing real Christmas carols. <laughs> People at the last house are so impressed with Cthulhu's singing that they act like they give him a present. Mm. Cthulhu got a Fabergé egg, the accessory for ba uh, this accessory for Baba, boosts your stats. Yay. I hope you've learned your lesson. Humans are easy to enslave with the right song. <laughs> or if you sing well, people will give you stuff. Don't mess with me when it comes to Christmas. <laughs> now it's Christmas Eve the thirty third. Baba hands Cthulhu a flask full of boiling red liquid. Shake this vigorously, but don't spill any on your skin. Now the only thing I want to do is spill it on my skin. It's very explosive right now, so better not. Let me know when it changes color. It turned green. That shouldn't be happening. Try spitting in it. Now it's yellow. Ooh, that should work. Quick, give me the flask. Cthulhu hands Baba Yaga the flask, which, she, which then she pours onto the side of her hut. That should do it! My hut should now have the brain of a chicken! Hmm. It's not doing anything. Of course not! Uh, of course it's not doing anything. It's a hut! They don't have... they don't do anything. But when we add, chi add chicken legs... How are you going to do that? Chop off some chicken legs and stick them to a growing potion? That's awful! Of course I'm not going to murder a chicken just to get some legs. I'm developing a potion that should transform tree roots into chicken legs, but I haven't gotten it working yet. I'm hoping that since the hut now has a brain, a chicken brain, that mental energy will help to shape the legs into chicken legs. Mind over matter. Thanks for your help today, boss. Now what I what if I try this? Did you or hut just lay an egg? You got a brown egg. For me. That generates chicken power for each turn. It's now Christmas Eve the 34th. It's so cold. So much snow. This is nothing. Why, when I was a young and I was running through the sky high, snow bare footed both ways in the snow. Both ways? Keep your glory day stories to yourself, old man. It's not definite, but Do you have a league on the next a uh, lead on the next league of Christmas Eve, remember? Just a hunch. All snowstorms that affect Christmas land originate from Christmas caves in the far north. If the Christmas caves are generating an abnormally large amount of snowstorms, that can indicate something's amiss there. Weather? We're basing our next dungeon choice on the weather? She's not, not wrong. Gee, thanks, narrator, for making me look really dumb. That was sarcasm. We're going to a really cold place, Cluck Cluck. Are you going to be warm enough? Ah! You heard 
convert the chicken. Let's go. Pass off the controller. Christmas it's now Eve. Christmas Eve the 35th. The cold. It's cold. Crazy cold. Huddled in a corner, wish for death levels of cold. An ordinary party would be dead at this point. But this is no ordinary party. You got that right. To the great Cthulhu, this is nothing. I laugh in such a feeble attempt at death by freezing. Death by freezing. I'm a snow... I'm the snow maiden. The cold never. Don't you dare finish that sentence. Affects my core temperature or well-being at all. Gee, what did you think I was going to say? <laughs> I'm not bothered by the cold. These clothes may look all raggedy and hobo-esque, but they're actually quite warm. And I have the power of a chicken. I'm fine. I didn't know chickens were immune to freezing temperatures. Wait a second. You're right. Chickens freeze in the cold. What was I thinking? Sorry, 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 Cluck Cluck. I'll whip up a heat spell for you right now. Cluck Cluck quickly thaws. <laughs> Smells like chicken. Maybe I overdid it. Who can live in such free, a freezing cold place? Besides me, of course. I have a guess. The giantess gorilla has always been a fan of snow-filled caves. Doesn't she eat naughty kids? It's a good thing we don't have any of those with us. Oh. Don't look at me! Yes, I may have tried to steal presents from orphans once or twice, but that doesn't make me naughty. Yes, yes it does. But that's in the past! Now I'm crusading Avenger of Justice on a quest to rescue the big guy himself. So you can steal Christmas presents directly from the source. You can't prove that. That's literally what you told us you would join our party. Past Baba Yaga is a tricky one. You can't always trust what she says. You're not gonna let her eat me, right? Of course not. It's far too late in the game to replace a party member. <laughs> the programmers really don't want to go to all that bother making a new character that most players will never see. Exactly! I heard that 99% of all players don't even make it past the tutorial! 99%! That can't possibly be right. <laughs> Maybe if you should start... Maybe if you start in higher quality games, players will play past the tutorial. Never! So, focus, people. Kid eating monster, kid right here. As I was saying, you will have, you will have nothing to fear. Now let's go fight this old woman. I love the lore of this. <laughs> Gorilla used to steal children. Ooh, pentagrams. Well, before we get too deep into this dungeon, maybe we will call it here and fight Rilla? next time on the playthrough of Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Um, stay tuned next time when we will play some more Cthulhu Saves Christmas. I'm Tony, the Blacksmithy Gamer, signing off with... This way, Karen. Now let's save it. Where? Uh, yeah. This one. Day 35. 
see you guys next time.